computer science degrees, a CS degree is not always going to be enough to help you get your foot in the door in tech. Why am I saying this? Am I trying to scare people away from tech? No. Do I want less people to apply to these jobs so I can get a job? No. The reason I'm talking about this is because I'm currently mentoring quite a few people at the moment. And more than half of these folks are in college trying to get their computer science degree. And a problem that I notice with a lot of these folks is that they're not building anything outside of school. All right, y'all, I got something practical for you, especially for the Mac users out there. It's about keeping your Mac clean, fast and ready to go. And I'm talking about clean my Mac X. If you're like me, sometimes when you're learning code or maybe just binge watching tutorials and your Mac starts to lag, it's like your creative flow hits a wall. That's exactly why Clean My Mac X could be a game changer for you. It's this powerhouse app that has been downloaded over 30 million times. And yes, even someone in Antarctica is using it. Here's what makes it essential. Clean My Mac X wipes away files you don't need, fights off malware, and gives your Mac that fresh out of the box vibe. And it's not just me saying this, it's Apple approved for safety and it snagged a red dot for design. They also have this thing called Smart Scan. One click and it does its magic cleaning, protecting, and speeding up your Mac in a snap. Plus, it's got this feature called Space Lens. Ever wonder why your storage is always full? Space Lens shows you down to the last gigabyte where all your space is going. Right now, they're offering a seven day free trial, no commitment, and I get to offer you a 20% discount with my link below. So make sure to check out Clean My Mac X in the link in the description. And a problem that I notice with a lot of these folks is that they're not building anything outside of school. Well, some of them wants to be a front-end developer, but this person isn't building any projects. As a front-end developer, thinking that what she is learning in college will be enough to get a front-end developer job. No, because they don't teach you a lot of front-end development in college, it's mainly back-end. I know another dude who wants to be a, a data engineer, getting a CS degree anyway, but is doing nothing with data engineering outside of school, it's primarily what you do in college. What they're doing in college is their source of learning, their source of education, right? Which is why you go to college. But the amount of people that I know that went to college and couldn't get a job despite having a computer science degree is astounding. Just to bring this up, I have a sister-in-law who is a pharmacist who is learning Python right now and she's already building things and she's already better then these folks that I'm mentoring who are only a few months away from graduating. Why? She doesn't have a computer science degree. She is very smart, but she's done something that these folks haven't done, which is build things outside of school. Again, she's already better than these folks I'm mentoring, even though they've been in college for four years. I can see her getting a job before them. And I'm not trying to talk down to them at all because what I'm telling you right now, I told them straight to their face because I want them to improve. Actually, one of the folks I've been mentoring, they've been paying for one hour weekly sessions, tutoring sessions. But one thing I noticed over the last five weeks is that every time I give this person, every time I give her homework to help her improve and become a front-end developer to learn the things that front-end developers do, she doesn't do it. And it got to the point where we're meeting every single week and we're talking about AI and the future of tech. And I would ask her, so were you able to build a thing that I asked you to build? Even if you didn't complete it, just attempt it. Put in like a couple of hours into it. No, because she got overwhelmed with her homework from school, which I understand school is overwhelming. I dropped out of four different colleges because I hated homework. But then it got to the point where I told her, hey, from the looks of it over our conversations the last couple of weeks, the last couple of months actually, I noticed that you don't really make time to do front-end developer stuff. I know you want to be a front-end developer, but I don't see that happening. You graduate next year. You graduate next year. You want to be a front-end developer, but you're only doing these things your school is teaching you to do. And I told her, if you don't build things outside of college, at least with JavaScript, a little bit of HTML, CSS, but a lot in JavaScript, with working with APIs, I don't think you'll be able to get a front-end developer job at all. You're wasting your time thinking you want to do it. Rather than that, just become a software engineer. Work primarily on the back-end development instead. And then I told her, 
and 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 because of this, I think we should just stop meeting. I, I mean, I appreciate you buying these monthly subscriptions of us meeting every single week, every single month to talk about this. I like making the extra 500, 600 bucks a month from one person. It's great, but I'm here to help you. And if you don't want to help yourself become what you told me you want to become, then maybe we should stop meeting. So I stopped meeting with that person. And so again, why am I saying this? Because there are a lot of people who watch me who are in school right now, who are in college. And I want y'all to understand that a degree isn't enough. is isn't always going to be enough. It can help you get internships. A lot of these internships will not let you intern with them unless you're working on your computer science degree or will be graduating soon with a CS degree. That's what it can help you with, which gets you more experience and sometimes can get your foot in the door. And if you do that internship and you do well, then they'll hire you at that job to the point where you don't even have to go back to college. And that's great. But other than that, I don't see a CS degree helping you get your foot in the door if you only do what the college teaches you to do. If you want to be a front-end developer, you need to build projects. You need to build websites. You need to build landing pages. You need to learn how to use React, Next.js. You need to learn how to use Git and GitHub. They don't teach that in college. You need to learn how to, to work with APIs, and they teach that in college depending on the courses that you take, right? They do teach you computer science. They do teach you how to work with algorithms, solve these problems, which is very important which you can also do on your own, by the way, outside of college. Now, please understand, I don't have anything against people who go to college. Okay, I don't have anything against people who get to their CS degree. Whenever I talk with folks, and one thing I tell them is, if I was a freshman in college today, or if I was graduating high school this year, and I go to college next year, I told them this, I told them if I can start over, I would get my computer science degree get my master's in machine or deep learning, then get my PhD and then work for an AI company making half a million a year. Seriously, because AI is the future. AI is here. AI is taking over. That's one thing I would do. But I can't. I'm a front-end developer, right? I do a little bit of back-end, but I'm primarily a front-end developer and I love doing front-end development. But please understand that just because you will have a CS degree in a couple of years or in a couple of months, does not mean that it's enough to help you get your foot in the door. You have to do much more than that, unfortunately. Especially looking in the economy we're living in right now. Especially looking at all of these different layoffs in tech companies right now. And so now talking to my self-taught developer folks, yo, for those who are self-taught who don't have a computer science degree, don't give up learning code just because there's so many layoffs. Don't give up learning code just because you see Devin, right? That you see AI coming. No, you keep continuously learning, especially versus those people who have their computer science degree because a lot of these folks who are getting their CS degree think the CS degree is enough when actually in all of the jobs that have worked at, they've often, more often said, said more often than not that the people who were self-taught tend to be better than those who have a computer science degree. That's what they've seen most of the time. So even for those who are self-taught, even though you don't have a degree, keep going. Don't give up because, yo, I don't care what state we are in AI in this space. You can still be a front-end developer five years from now, four years from now, three years from now. You can still make six figures in tech in a couple years from now if you're just learning now. You still can. Don't let what the state of the world is currently in discourage you, but work harder knowing that the competition is fierce and go above and beyond in those who have a computer science degree. Or if you are getting a CS degree versus other folks who have a CS degree, make sure you do more than them outside of school. I know it's tiring. I know it's exhausting. But if you want to be able to make $300,000, $400,000, $500,000 a year in tech, you have to go above and beyond. That is the way you succeed. Not even just in tech, anything else in the world. If you work a normal nine to five job, and you want to succeed, you have to go above and beyond to do really well there. Then they get promoted then eventually get promoted into leadership, maybe even the exe in the, uh, the uh, C-suite if you have a master's. Unfortunately, you need a master's for a lot of these companies to make in the C-suite, although not all of them are like that. But you have to work your ass off and go above and beyond. And if it's in tech, especially with everyone wanting to have the same salaries, making all of this money, you have to be willing to do more than the person next to you, than the person you know that's studying right now. If you see someone that's studying three hours a day, maybe you study three hours and 10 minutes a day. Seriously, that's what it takes to make it into tech. But yo, if you are able to do it, this, this is life changing. 
A company reached out to me, saying they're willing to pay me $405,000 a year. Another company reached out to me, saying they're willing to pay me $240,000 a year. And that's as a developer advocate, not as a software engineer. Imagine if it was in the software engineering world. Imagine if I went back into the space as a front end developer. Make even more money. But you have to work for it. Nothing, none of this is going to be given to you. I worked my ass off the last seven years to be where I am today. You will have to do the exact same thing.